Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go wanted to go ahead and give a um, girl. I just wanted to have a discussion. This is, this is not even a review. This is just a discussion about RuPaul's Drag Race. Y'all already know. I really just want to talk about Untucked. Um, I'll just go ahead and just give a quick run, like a quick couple of minutes uh, run through of the episode. Basically, the episode starts off. Um, Candy says that her biggest competition is Simone. Um, for whatever reason, Tamisha, um, I guess she was offended by that statement. Um, listen, I'm with Candy at this point. Like, Simone is the biggest competition. If I was any of the other girls, if Rue asked those girls on stage, who's your biggest competition? I'm almost sure that the majority, if not all of them, would probably end up saying Simone just for the simple fact that Simone has two wins underneath her belt. They already was telling the girl, I don't know if all the other girls know this, but they were already telling the girl the first episode, I think the second episode, that she was a star. She has star quality. Rue said that. I think, I think Michelle said that, but Rue said it. So it's just like... Girl, at this point, Simone actually is, in my opinion, she's the biggest competition, or at least it sh she should be for everybody. But again, for whatever reason, Tamisha felt some type of way about Candy making that statement. Um, the baby got back. Mini challenge was dumb. Half of the stuff that these, more than half of the things that these girls do, I refuse to believe that Rue has had to do any of these. Of course, we have to make television. So, to some degree, I, I get it. But they, it just looked dumb to me. Um, the Tamisha, Tamisha uh, Iman ball was cute. Utica uh, let the girls know she had never seen a ball before. Um, Joey J. <laughs> this is what I wanted to say about Joey J. And one of you guys um, left a comment um, about Joey J in one of the reviews. And remember I was talking about Joey J and that hairstyle? Um, the first thing I want to say is this. I was listening to my review and I think I remember saying like the hairstyle was a mess. Joey J's hairstyle, her hair, um, haircut is actually a cute cut. Even on a girl, I've seen women with that same hairstyle, white women. I've seen white women with that same hairstyle, not lesbians. Well, at least I didn't think there were, uh, well, of course, some of them are lesbians. But I've seen, excuse me, I've seen fish, white fish. I've seen fi lipstick, li lipstick. I've seen girls. <laughs> God, I don't know how to, even know how to say it. I've seen girls rock that same hairstyle. The thing with Joey J rocking that hairstyle four times in a row, even though I think the hairstyle is cute, Joey J isn't that great of a drag queen to continue to give the same hairstyle time after time after time. Like, she gave that, that same hairstyle four times in a row. If Simone came out there with the same wig on four times in a row, the judges probably wouldn't say anything because they're already eating Simone up. Like they're not eating Joey J up. So it's like Joey J, the girls not even don't even really see it for you like that. You're really not that great of a drag. Like, let me say this. There's no one on this season who's just like a great drag queen, in my opinion. They're good. Like Simone is a good drag queen, but she's just not giving me great at this at this point, you know? Um, and I'm not talking about the whole package. But when I look at Joey J, Joey J, like, girl, you're not that, like, Joey J, you're not that great of a drag queen. You talking about your knee hurt, so you barely can dance. And then on top, then your fashions are a disaster. And then you're going to come out here on top of all of that. You're going to have that same fucking hairstyle four times. At least with Simone, we could say, ooh, Simone is funny. Simone got personality. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about that bitch wearing the same wig four times because everything else with Simone, we can put a check by it. With Joey J, it's like the complete opposite. Wrong, 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 wrong. And you got that same fucking hairstyle. 
with Simone is gonna be like, ooh, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. She got the same wig on, but girl, don't nobody care. Check mark, check mark, check mark. Anyways, um, Utica. Utica, <laughs> girl, I don't give a damn what nobody say. Rude just go Rude just gave that win to Mick. So the girls won't be on her ass. You know they already say, uh they already said they already said that uh Rue was transphobic. So girl, Rue just go went ahead and gave that uh, gave that win to uh Mick because anybody with two fucking eyes know that Utica should have won that challenge. This bitch made a whole dress out of a sleeping bag. Girl, got Mick came out there with some goddamn shit slapped around her leg and something covering up her chest, and girl, she won. That second outfit was cute. It reminded me of a, a outfit that uh uh Courtney Kardashian had on this literally the same exact style. Um it was a black tuxedo, this cut out. Utica stuff was cute. The first outfit was cute with the open body, the second outfit was cute, the third outfit was whatever. Utica, to me, her first outfit was cute, second outfit was cute, third outfit was cute. Utica should have won that challenge, but she went ahead and gave it to um what's her face? Uh got Mick. Um the bottom two, of course, is Lala. <laughs> girl, well, la girl. Lala literally came out there and glued some bags to a bodysuit. <laughs> Lala said, girl, y'all gonna take what y'all, y'all gonna get whatever I'm gonna give y'all. <laughs> and that's what it's gonna be. Um, Lala and Joey J are the bottom two. Lala pretty much destroyed Joey J. I don't know what Joey J, Joey J tried her hardest, but she couldn't even keep up with Lala. And the truth of the matter is Lala didn't even do really a whole lot. She did just, she did a couple of moves and then girl, it was pretty much a wrap. After she did that split, after after she did that split, the lip sync was pretty much over. The couple of moves she did before that was enough to like, okay, Joey J, girl, just stop. But Joey J tried. Um, girl, let's go ahead and get into Untucked. So you have Tina, Candy, Simone, Delon what's her name? Delani, Dahlia. Olivia and Elliot, they're safe. Um, for some reason, Candy really thinks that she's a judge. <laughs> for whatever reason, Candy thinks that she's a judge. They're talking about being safe. Candy says, knowing how to sew and having taste are two different things. Um, she's absolutely right. She was talking about Tamisha. I hated Tamisha. I didn't know. I did not hate, I didn't hate Tamisha's outfit. Tamisha did overdo it with like the, I think the bracelet, the necklace, it was just a lot going on. Um, but for her to have sewn that, it still was good. The thing is with Candy is you're sitting here saying having taste and knowing how to sew are two different things. But girl, you just said prior to that, that the judges read you every week on your looks. So clearly you have problems with your taste also, um, Olivia says, let's critique each other, you know, you know, let's critique each other. Of course, Candy decides to address Elliot with two T's. Now, anybody with two eyes and decent hearing, if you watch this show, you know that Candy has been fucking with Elliot for a minute now. So, of course, she directs her critique to Elliot. You need to be more self-aware. You're trying to fit in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Elliot is kind of taken aback and Candy kind of puts the puts the puts the end to the conversation. Basically, you need to read the room, period, end of discussion. Who the fuck do you think you talking to? Okay. So, they so 
Everybody else comes into the room. This is where things take a left. In my honest opinion, no one asks Tamisha to give that type of um, response, or I guess, I guess I didn't like the way she answered. This is the thing. I think that Tamisha thought she was about to go home. So I was, I'm thinking that Tamisha was thinking, bitch, I'm about to go home. So let me go ahead and just say what I need to say to these girls because I'm not going to see them again. So Tamisha went through the whole, y'all are great drag queens. I, uh, you know, y'all are, go you know, y'all, 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 y'all are good drag queens. Even though I don't like some of y'all hoes, y'all still good drag queens. I can respect what y'all do. And that's when she said it again. And that's when uh, Candy said, well, girl, who are you talking to? Because you're looking at me. She was like, yeah, I'm talking to you. You one of them. <laughs> now, mind you, Candy is offended that, to me, that Tamisha called her arrogant. But she can't understand why Elliot was low-key offended when she called her, tell, told her she needs to be self-aware. Now, yes, Olivia said, let's go around the room and critique each other. But, bitch, that wasn't Elliot's idea. So you can sit here and say all day, well, girl, I was doing it because the other girl said it. It don't matter, bitch. It doesn't matter. The same way, the same way you can be offended by... Tamisha calling you arrogant is uh, is the same way that Elliot could be offended by you saying that she's not self-aware. Now, I really didn't understand why Candy got so upset because when you really go back and watch what Tamisha said, Tamisha did not bash, the, bash her as a drag queen at all. She said she was pretty. She said she was a good drag queen. She just said, girl, you're arrogant. And for some reason, that's the part that stuck out to Candy and that's the part that she decided to grasp onto and like... Just not let, it's like she grabbed, like a pit bull had just like got a hold to somebody and just wouldn't let go. Um, she says, I don't have a nasty attitude. I just say it how it is. And see, I, I was talking about something like this similar the other night on one of my reviews called Bell Collective. And I, I think people like Candy, they think that I'm not being rude. I'm being real. I'm just being honest. When in fact, you can come across as rude. So you can sit here and say, I don't have a nasty attitude. I just said how it is. But who are you saying these things to? Are you saying these things to people who you just met? And bitch, I really don't know you like that. And I will slap the fuck out of you for talking to me crazy. See, that's what Candy gives me. Candy is that girl. Candy is that big girl who thinks that because she may be able to talk louder than somebody, that people should be scared of her. Girl, at the end of the day, if I was Tamisha, I would have body slammed that big bitch on the ground. I don't know who this big bitch thinks she's talking to. She might run, she might run the girl. And the thing is, Tina had already let us know that Candy was a messy ass bitch. So I'm not exactly sure why Tina tacky ass sitting her ass there trying to defend and another bitch who should have got cursed out too was Got Mick. The only reason why I think Got Mick that Tamisha didn't get into Got Mick ass because she was aware of the cameras and she knew that if she would have got into Got Mick's ass and Got Mick is a trans man, it could have went completely left. But Got Mick, you shut your ass up too. It's so crazy that Candy got so much motherfucking mouth. Well, let's just call it for what the fuck it is. Bitch, your ass almost went home the first challenge. That's why your ass was in the back crying. You got mad at Elliot because Elliot basically said something that was factual. Girl, y'all girls coming here talking about y'all know this person, know this person, and girl, you end up going home. You think Elliot was being shady. But the truth of the matter is that is the truth. See, the thing is, Candy... Dahlia Sin with his favorite. That, the, the, Dahlia Sin, whatever that thing. No, he fine. God damn. Um, did he get his ass done? I don't know, man. That thing. No, he is fine. Um, Dahlia Sin, Aja. It's a lot of y'all girls walk into the workroom like, I'm that girl, I'm that girl, I'm that girl. And then, girl, you, get, you end up getting sent home first. Please don't get it twisted, Candy Muse. Bitch, your ass almost went home. You were the first one that should have went home.
When you were back there crying in that workroom, bitch, you really thought you was about to get your walking papers. Candy, you are arrogant. You've already said how you walk around like I'm famous. And I'm not saying that if, if you're not famous, you can't walk around like that. But girl, based off what Candy said, I walk around like I'm famous and this and that. Girl, you are arrogant. You think that you're... First, first of all, girl, I need you to bring it down a couple of notches. Girl, you're okay as a drag queen. You're just okay. Girl, your very first time performing on the show, girl, you literally did a whole routine for Monet Exchange. Girl, you're not that great. <laughs> you probably could be great, but my first time even knowing who you were on screen, girl, your whole routine was a routine you got from Monet Exchange. <laughs> or at least half of it. Um, She said, I can walk into a room. She said, Somebody, I can, don't get mad at me because I can walk into a room and own it. Candy, you're loud. You're loud. You can't speak. Your tongue is as thick as a 12-ounce New York strip. You have saliva stuck in your throat. Girl, no one is thinking about you. You're not this bona fide just star. There are people who have walked onto RuPaul's Drag Race like Simone. But I don't. I think you may be getting your... I think you think that the judge, the, when they told Simone that she was a star, girl, I think that landed in your, girl, that she, they wasn't talking to you, Candy Muse. They were talking to Simone. Simone actually has star quality. She does. <laughs> That's why everybody goes up for Simone. Boy chest and all. Um... She basically starts clapping. I smack a bitch. Let me tell y'all something. You know, Tamisha's too old to be fighting. Sometimes you get to the point where it's kind of like, I'm not fit to be fighting you. But girl, as soon as Candy would have said, girl, I'm, gonna have to, I'm about to leave because I'm, I'm about to smack a bitch or whatever she said. <sighs> I wish Tamisha would have picked that big bitch up and body slammed her two times. I don't know who the fuck you think you talking to. Girl, this is not the Bronx. This is not those little white drag queens or whoever you be hanging around. Tina Burner, whatever drag show. And girl, the girls might be scared of you because you doing all this and clapping. And I'm going to slap a bitch. I'm going to slap a bitch. Girl, you're not going to slap shit. Cause when Tamisha walked up and got in your motherfucking face, that was your time. It wasn't no, it wasn't nothing between you. Was space and opportunity, bitch. You could have knocked that hoe upside of her head then, but your ass didn't, cause you knew better. Your ass walked up out that motherfucking uh, building and went outside. You, Tina, you and the Peanut Gang. Tina, you shut your ass up. You was you was the first one telling us that Candy was a messy ass bitch. Got Mick talking about, you're antagonizing her, you're antagonizing her. Got Mick, you shut your ass the fuck up too. Anyways, I'm done. That's all I got. <laughs> Candy, girl, you was a mess. Gonna come back in talking about, this was disgusting on my part too. Candy, you were the one who, you were the one who made it something that didn't have to be. For, for Candy to be this outspoken, I said like I mean it type of person, bitch, you really can't take, you can dish it, but you can't take it. People like that, girl, shut your ass up. You can go around saying whatever you want to say to people. Do whatever you want to do to people. But as soon as somebody calls out a flaw of yours, then you want to get pissed off. And the simple fact that Samisha literally said that, girl, you're pretty, you're a good drag queen. You're just arrogant. That's the thing that sets you off the most. Girl, you're weird. <laughs> I could see if she said, girl, you're a mess of a drag queen. You're not cute. I could see how you could probably be like, bitch, what? I was with Tamisha on that one. I was with Tamisha. Elliot, I'm not Elliot. Candy is... Low-key a big bully. And when I mean big, literally big bully. Girl, you been fucking with Elliot. Oh, shit. 
No, keep trying. Oh, it's still recording. Okay. Uh, you've been fucking with Ellie this whole time. You should have been in the bottom. You should have been about in the bottom. Bitch, you shouldn't have even been out to make that statement, bitch, because your ass should have went home the week prior. Shut your ass up, Candy Muse. 